All right, my darlings. It's time for the big, big, big tier list. This one's gonna be much bigger than the rest of the tier list I've done. This time, I did not forget the tiers. So again, we have the Destroy Me top tier, the Submissive top, the Verse King, the Power Bottom, and the Be Destroyed bottom tier. And then I changed up the uh, Nope tier to the I Don't Wanna Get Cancelled LOL tier. I am gonna put some characters in there. Potentially. Maybe. Don't mind Farina and Milani down here. They're just here to watch. They're just here to have a show. Farina is no longer scared of the gays, okay? She's no longer scared of the gays. I used to be terrified of the gays. She's here to watch. And we're gonna start it off with a, a very peak character, in my opinion. We're starting it off with Ito. And Ito to me... Oh god, this is already gonna cause so many... This is gonna cause so much discussion already. <laughs> I feel we're starting off with a very controversial character. Um, I feel like... Wait, 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 wait. What if I put Ito in the submissive top tier? Will that make you guys go insane? Will you guys be okay with me putting him there? Do you guys see what I see? I kind of see it. I feel like he's so himbo. Ito is so himbo that I feel like he's a submissive top. That or he's a verse. I really, you know what? We're putting, we're keeping him here. We're keeping him here. I fear we're starting off with quite the drastic choice. Ito is a submissive top, okay? And now we have Goro, and Goro is my favorite boy. He is my favorite, favorite character. And a lot of people keep telling me that I look like Goro. And I swear I did not do that on purpose. Please believe me when I say I did not do that on purpose. I think I subconsciously made myself look like Goro. I think Goro's bottom. I just do. I don't know. I like, I just, well, I mean... <laughs> The Goro Ito ship is quite peaked, let me just say. And Goro as a top in that ship is kind of peak. So you know what? I'm gonna put Goro in verse, and I fear y'all are gonna come for me, but that's okay, that's okay. Goro's a verse king. <laughs> I feel like that's correct. And now we have Toma. Toma? Oh my gosh, what is Toma? I really want to put him in verse again, but I low-key, I low-key feel like he's just the bottom. I really do. I really feel like Toma is a bottom. I just, it's his voice. He's so baby girl. Like, I don't know. Toma is such a bottom. I might move around these characters uh, when we get further, but for now, he's staying there. He's he's at the bottom tier. He's at the bottom tier. And now we have Kaya. I feel like Kaya is first. Or he's a power bottom. No, Kaya is a power bottom. 100%. Kaya is a power bottom. I don't even need to, I don't even need to give you any more reasons why he's a power bottom. He just is, okay? He just is a power bottom. He's a power bottom. Okay, now we have Zhao. And Zhao, I feel like if I did have to put Zhao anywhere, I feel like he's a bottom. I really do. I feel, I'm sorry, Zhao. I just really feel like you're a bottom. And now we have Nouvellet. And oh my god, he is going to be really hard to rate because I have no idea. I feel like he could be both. I kind of feel verse for him. I kind of do. I feel like he could do both. He kind of just gives me verse energy. Like I, I, in my mind, I feel like he could do both. Same with Risley. So we're just going to put them there. And I know they get shipped a lot together. So you know what? That's correct. I feel like they're both verse. You know what? They're, they're just doing it all. They're doing it all. And now we got Kinnich. I have not done the Natlin story, so I don't exactly know Kinnich's personality, but design-wise, he's giving bottom. He just is. I don't know, Kinnich is a bottom. Y'all are gonna have to tell me if that's correct or not, because I've literally never interacted with him in the stories, so I don't know. I might be completely wrong about that, but that's where he's going. We now have Sethos. Girl, I just realized nobody's in the top tier yet. That's crazy. I wonder if anybody's gonna go there. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's gonna be in the top tier. I mean, I guess we'll find out. Sethos is not going there, though. That's all I know. Sethos is a bottom. I think there's so many bottoms in Genshin. I'm just gonna... There, this tier is gonna be overflowing. And now Ayato. This might be kind of weird, but I low-key think Ayato is top. I don't know. I feel... Okay, you know what I get? You know what vibes I get from Ayato? I feel like he's the BDSM man. I don't know why, but I feel like... Ayato would be a very degrading top. I feel like he would degrade you. I really do. I don't know why. I feel like I feel like he would handcuff you and he would degrade you. That's the kind of vibes I get from Ayato. He's got that degradation kink. <laughs> 
Anyways, moving on. Uh, we got Auron. I, again, have not interacted with this character yet. Uh, but I have heard his voice, and he seems very geeky. Very silly. He's quite cute. I wasn't a fan of his design at first, but it's kind of growing on me a little bit. I think he will go into the submissive top tier. Don't ask me why, because I have not interacted with this character. I'm just going to put him there. You can tell me if I'm wrong. I won't be mad. <laughs> We're going to rate Chong Yoon. Please don't come for me. But I, I feel like Chong Yoon is a bottom. But that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> and yeah, moving on. And now we got Gumming. And Gumming, I feel like also, I feel like also, it's a bottom. I'm telling you, there's too many bottoms in the Genshin game. We need more buff, man. Get these twinks out of here. And now we got Fremine. Fremine <laughs> is also a bottom. There's too many bottoms. Help. And now we got Albedo. Albedo has been like one of my favorite characters for so long. And Albedo is like too innocent. I don't know. I feel like Albedo is just so innocent. I like cannot even envision him in any of this. For the sake of the tier list, I have to rate him. You know what? I feel like Albedo would be a power bottom. <laughs> I mean, y'all saw the villain Albedo, okay? I feel like he's got some devilish ways inside of him. I feel like my logic on this power bottom Albedo doesn't make any sense, but that's where he's staying. Um, and now we got Mika, and I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to rate him. We're moving on. If I had to put him anywhere, he's a bottom, but I'm just, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Uh, no thanks. Moving on. We got Baju, and Baju, I feel like he's too tired. <laughs> I feel like he's too sick and too tired to top. So I feel like Baiju is a submissive top. I don't know why. I mean, he's either a submissive top or he's just a bottom. Let's just be real. He's too tired to do any of that. And now we got Kave. I thought I knew where I was going to put him, huh? but I don't think I know where I'm going to put him. Oh my god, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think. You know what? I feel like Kave's just verse. And you want to know why I think he's verse? Because all height them's also verse. They're husbands. Okay, let's just make that quite clear and honest. They're husbands, and they're both verse. You know what? I How how could I not put Nuvolet and Risley in verse, and Kave and Elhytham also in verse? That's just how it is. That's just how it be. They have to go there. There's no other choice. And now we got Lenny. You know what? You know what? This is gonna confuse so many people. I feel like y'all are gonna be fighting with me. I'm gonna put him in the top tier. <laughs> I feel like Linny. I don't know why, but I kind of see it. I kind of see it. Either that or he's a power bottom, I think. Linny ain't gonna destroy me, but he's gonna destroy somebody out there with his magician ways. You know, that's the real magic, him being a top. <laughs> we have Sing Cho, and I literally don't know where to put him. I just like, I don't. I don't even know. I feel like he's just gonna go here. Yeah, that's where he's going. And now we have Kazuha. And Kazuha... Kazuha's a submissive top, for sure. No, he's definitely a bottom. Kazuha, for sure a bottom. For sure. There's too many bottoms, guys. I don't know what to do. And now we got Sino. I think Sino's a top. I kind of see it. I don't know. I feel like this uh, tier list is gonna have so many opinions. This is already looking a little bit cursed. <laughs> This is already looking a little bit cursed. I feel like there's a lot of uh, misplacements here, but you know what? Sino in the top tier. I feel like Sino gets paired with Tignari a lot, and I am 100% putting Tignari as a, as a bottom. Yes, Tignari as a bottom for sure. For sure. So that's my logic. Sino's a top, Tignari bottom. There you go. And now we have, who's that again? Haizo. Haizo is verse 100%. Haizo kind of gives me Sampo energy a little bit. I don't know why. I feel like Haizo could definitely be verse for sure. For sure. I see that. Diluc is 100% on top. I don't think he's doing anything else. I think he's definitely a top for sure. Venti, I have I have no idea. I don't want to get canceled with Venti. So you know what? We're just going to put him there. <laughs> I don't want to rate Venti. If I had to rate Venti, he would be a bottom. Let's be real. But I'm going to put him here. Uh, Zhongli. 
I feel like Zhongli's the top. Line. You know, Zhongli's got a little bit of cake, okay? Well, he's got a little bit of cake back there, but like Zhongli's the top for sure. Um, and now we got Razor. I'm gonna be totally real. I just can't rate him. I just can't. Me personally, I cannot rate Razor. You guys can rate Razor if you want, but I can't. Same with Bennett. I'm not gonna rate Bennett, so we're just gonna leave him there. Um, and now we got Aether. And Aether literally is verse. And do you wanna know my logic as to why Aether is verse? Because he gets shipped with literally every male character in this game. So I feel like depending on the ship, depending on the situation, I feel like you could definitely do both. We have the rest of the Harbingers here. I think that's all of them. I think that's all the male Harbingers. And first one is Tartalia. Tartalia is a verse, I think. Now, you know what? Well, oh my god, that's really hard. I have no idea. I see so many things for Tartalia, so that's why I kind of want to, I want to play him in verse. Because I could see him as a submissive top. I could see him as a destroy me top. I could see him as a power bottom. And I could see him as a be destroyed bottom. I could see, I can see Tartalia as literally everything. So you know what? He's going there. He's going right in the verse. He's like the perfect verse. And now we got Wanderer, Scaramucci. He is like 100% a power bottom. Yeah, totally. I totally see him as a power bottom. For sure. For sure, I see him as that. And now we got Capitano, and I swear he better be playable. He better be playable. Capitano, to me, 100% a top. Like, look at him. He's a top. And now we got Dottore, and Dottore, to me, I feel like is either a power bottom, a verse, or a destroy me top. I'm gonna put him as a power bottom. I feel like that's gonna be very controversial. <laughs> Honestly, this whole tier list is controversial. <laughs> Please don't cancel me. Um, and then Piero. We got Piero. And Piero, to me, is a top. Absolutely. He could be a submissive top. Nah, he's definitely- he's 100% a top. Do you want to know who I'm going to put in submissive top, actually? Pantalone. Pantalone. That's where he's going. With Baiju. Because they kind of look the same. I feel like that's so incorrect. <laughs> But it's so hard. Where am I supposed to put him? I feel like in the bottom tier makes sense, but we need more submissive tops, okay? It's gotta be equal with the power bottoms. Um, and that's the tier list. I feel like this is the most cursed tier list I have ever made. I feel like this is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly wrong. Y'all can correct me in the comments, as I'm sure you will, because this is quite something. This honestly could start wars, but yeah. This is definitely the uh, most difficult tier list I have made because I feel like so many of these characters could go everywhere. But I feel like my logic makes what? sense to me. So this is where they're staying. This is this is the tier. This is the tier. Feel free to have some discussions below about what you think each character would go into. Um, be civil. Be civil in the comments, of course. And if you enjoyed this video, I have other tier lists that I will link to in the description that are similar to this tier list. I've done one for Wooden Waves, I've done one for Overwatch, I've done one for Hawkeye Star Rail. I would do one for ZZZ, but ZZZ has like five male characters, so uh, that will not be coming for maybe probably like five years from now, if it even happens. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I would really, really appreciate if you subscribed and liked the video. Just a reminder that I do stream over on Twitch and I am trying to grow my Twitch and would really, really appreciate if you would leave a follow over on my Twitch. But as always, I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.